Welcome back to my little playthrough of the very first Legend of Zelda, first quest. Last time, we went over the first underworld, and now we are going to head for the second, potentially unlocking a few secrets along the way. So let's get the candle out, put our boots on, and we're on our way. secret. Don't go in there, because instead of getting money, they charge you money for going in there. What the real secret is, is right here. And this one is a major payout. <laughs> nice, isn't it? Your shield, but I know of one where I can get it a lot cheaper than that. Get the shop. Let's go over a little bit. Get a little too ahead of myself. There's one right here, I believe. Yeah. This one's a pretty small one, though, at only 10. But hey, every little bit helps. Expensive to go on an adventure, you know? Alright, so we're going to the top here. <laughs> it's always weird, without the map, I always have such a hard time finding two. But yeah, I'm able to find three of them. I'm going to get some bombs. I'll just leave you alone. Leave you to your own devices. It is right here, but first there is a bush right there. This one. This one, I believe, according to the map. Oh, it's another shot. Oh, here we go. I got the better shield for a lot cheaper of price. And then we go over again. Pretty obvious. You only get ten this time around. But once again, every little bit helps. Oh yes, one other big thing to mention as well, the boomerang. It stuns enemies. Yeah, let's hope I can at least get to the dungeon. Because if I die, I'll spawn in the dungeon. <laughs> Notice is 
attacks there like that. And man, they are really quickly like that. Let's see. Doesn't really look like there's anything in this room, so I'm gonna head on over. There's another key. Just the right one out of the cluster, you can kill them all right away. As far as I can tell, there's really no distinguishing mark, you just get lucky. extended boomerang. Now the other one can only go so far, but with this one you can go all the way to the end of the screen with it. <laughs> Very useful. It is slightly annoying that uh, the old one is gone, but I tell you, it's kind of worthless anyway. I'm sure there's a name for this enemy, but uh, unfortunately I don't Yobu, because I believe that's what they call it in the Safari world. I thought I would get something out of that. Another key. And I believe there is another little something something in here as well. Bombs. Every little bit helps. So, we'll save the Dodongo. 
tastes like smoke. The bombs make smoke. I wonder. how much of this they kind of brought back in Ocarina of Time because I believe they come with the downhills the same way. So that is level two. I figure let's go a little further. Let's go into level three as well. And it's nice that it actually refills my house so it's a lot easier to take care of. Let's see, I can't help thinking three is not too far away from here. Let me check my map real quick. Oh, okay, level three is kind of a distance. So I will cut back when I actually get there. Unless something exciting happens, then I'll just kind of throw it in for a pinch. Alright, here we are. We're almost here. Down, down. Here is level three. Let's do this. Now, I don't know what in the world this one is called, but it has gained quite a bit of controversy over the years, which uh, you'll see why later on. I forgot I didn't have the hit sword when I came in here, so some of these enemies are going to be a little difficult. I'm pretty sure I can handle it. how you get the swords. Not only do you have to know where it is, but you have to have enough parts to do it. This'll work out. I'll show you the slip, and now we can buy some medicine. Might as well. Go for the red one, because the red one you can drink twice. The blue one you can only drink once. Plus it's just more bang for the buck to just do some basic math. Well, maybe not basic, but uh, math. <laughs> You gotta watch out for these falling rocks, you know, death, mountain and all. Here we go. 
must be using it, and you can have it. Yeah, we got the white sword, so now that dungeon is going to be a fair bit easier. should be a fair bit easier, and you'll notice that these enemies now die and I'm hit the last bit of the part. <laughs> I was hoping that guy would drop a little rupee, but you know, you can't recall and get what you want now. But if you try sometimes, you just might find, you get what you need. <laughs> get a little bit of rolling stones in there. these dark nuts. Sure, I don't touch. 
touch any of bubbles. Because if you touch the bubbles, you disable the sword momentarily. Ah, okay. Unfortunately, I don't know the name of this boss, but if you place a bomb just right, you can take it out in one hit. They gotta make it. Fantastic. Well, there we go. I think this is a good place to end this part. I hope you'll join me next time for level four.